Yo, what's going on guys? It is your boy Snow, and we're back with another video today. In this video, um, I'm going to teach you guys how to make text go behind an object uh, in Femora 10. I'm also for more partners, so if you're new and interested in Femora, uh, you guys can try it out free in the description down below. Okay, let's get into it. Alrighty, so the first thing you guys want to do is obviously get your background footage and drag it into your timeline. I'm going to trim it up a little bit just so it looks a little bit cleaner. Alright, next thing is you guys wanted to go to titles in the top left and uh, choose a title. I have one favorited, it's just base, basic six, but you guys can use any uh, text you want. Um, yeah. Once it's in, you want to double click on it, and I'm just going to change the font. I'm going to use Dimbo because it's one of my favorites. I use it in a lot of my videos and thumbnails, and you know I just like it. I'm going to change the size a little bit. Uh, you guys don't have to do this if you guys don't want to. And I'm going to write like and sub because you guys should all like and sub. Once you guys have done that, you guys want to double click on the text um, and when you're in this page, go to animation and then find the animate the animation called right roll. You should see it here. Um, it's just called right roll. Basically, when the text pops up, it just goes to the right. I'm actually going to trim this a lot because it goes pretty slow. So I would have your video maybe five seconds. So it goes a bit faster. Maybe even a bit faster. There you go. Just so your uh, your text move to the right. You can also have it to the left, but you know, right is just overall better in my opinion. All right, next thing, uh, you guys want to copy the track. Um, so control C or by right clicking and clicking copy your background footage, I mean, and then, you know, just paste it to the side and drag it right over top. So it's perfectly lined up with everything. Once you've done that, you guys want to go to effects. Um, and on the left side, go to the utility, sorry, and get image masking. You want to get it and just paste it right over top of it, not the track above it, but you want it right on top of the top uh, footage track like this. And you should see this little icon down here to make sure uh, it's on it. Once you've done that, uh, double click on the top footage and go to video effects and make sure that's checked. Um, and scroll down a bit until you find this image masking option. Uh, there are tons of options to choose from, but I'm going to choose one that is like a rectangle, square, something like that. So I'm going to choose this one for now and then click OK. Nothing should change right now. That's because you have the bottom uh, track selected. So what you want to do is on the bottom track, click this little eye to hide the preview and it should go away just so we can focus on the top one for now, um, but we can re-enable that later. All right, so now go back into image masking by double clicking and it should automatically pop up. And this is where you want to like line it up perfectly. And I'm going to use the tree for the first example. So for X and Y, you just kind of got to mess with them. I'm going to move it over a little bit. And for the width and height, I would only mess with the width because the tree is most of it. Um, so change the width by lowering it. Um, and basically with X and Y and width mainly, uh, just line it up right around the tree. After a little bit, you should get it pretty good. That's pretty good. Um, once you have it, click OK. Um, and then now you can re-enable the bottom track or uh, unhide it. As you see, uh, the text is already going through it. Um, as you scroll through, it looks like it's going through. You can see it's not perfect. That's because of my lining. If you want to change it, just double click uh, back on the top track and like unhide or hide the bottom one. And you can mess with it a little bit more. If you mess, if you take your time on this, you can actually get it pretty good. It's probably even better to go out a bit more. Let's see. That does look pretty good. After a little bit of fiddling around, you can get it to look pretty good. Um, this was just, you know, a few minutes of my time. Um, and it already looks pretty good. So yeah, that's basically how to do it. I'm gonna show you guys another example, um, and this time with the chest. So if you guys go back to the top track, oh, before that, make sure to hide the bottom one so we can focus on the top. Uh, so yeah, double click on the top um, and choose a different image. I'm actually gonna use something like this, I feel like would be better. I change the Y, I'm gonna get it real good right around it. After a little bit of filling around, I got something like this. Um, I can also do the top, but I don't really need that at this point. Uh, so yeah, click OK um, and, you know, make sure to unhide the bottom layer just so that. And I'm actually going to move the text down now like this. And let's see. So for a few seconds of my time, I already got it to look really good in my opinion. Uh, yeah, so that's basically how to make text go behind an object. Uh, if you learned anything new or enjoyed the video, make sure to hit the like button down below and subscribe. Uh, any questions at all, feel free to leave them in the comments down below. Uh, I answer basically all your guys' questions. And you know, uh, yeah, thank you guys so much for watching this video. Uh, yeah, and peace out. Oh.